Leonard Bernstein is 70. Are you all alive? Most men are retired at 70. They fish or take their grandchildren to the circus and remind themselves each day how fragile life is at 70. I'm sorry, I'm late. I had to rehearse to actors and, you know, in Russian. And... <laughs> it's very complicated. Let's do the very end. Leonard Bernstein took young musicians from around the world, the Schleswig Holstein Music Festival Orchestra, to Moscow. I do. That's what I live for. People and relationships and spreading love. And my way of doing that uh, is through music, through writing music and playing music and talking about music and teaching young people. Leonard Bernstein's last trip to the Soviet Union was in 1959, a triumphant journey leading the New York Philharmonic. Those were the days of improving relations between the United States and the Soviet Union, very much like these days. And these days, Americans are friends again. American celebrities are back in fashion. <laughs> Bernstein was good copy for the Soviet press. Tell us, one reporter asked, what do you think of our Gorbachev? I admire infinitely more Mr. Gorbachev than I do George Bush. <laughs> it is a very different place from the Moscow I remember in 1959. Uh, people wear much more colorful clothes. Uh, they seem to gesticulate more. There's more laughter. Everything seems more open. <laughs> Moscow is a city of ancient sites and modern sightseers. Novodevichy Monastery, where a walk through the gate is a step into the past. Standing there in this monastery, I had the feeling of Chekhov characters who were caught between the old regime, knowing it was over, knowing a revolution is coming. And I thought, well, you know, this revolution is, is very young, really. It's only as old as I am. It's one year older than I am. I'm very young. So they've struggled and they've had some very bad patches. In fact, most of it has been rough and tyrannical and uh, not what Marx meant at all. And one is wondering where one is in this revolution at this moment. Gorky Park, in the heart of Moscow, a place where Soviets come to play, a place where Bernstein's orchestra came to play as well. To create this orchestra, which is from various countries, France and Germany and Australia and America and, France and Brazil and I don't know where. To work with an orchestra in the first place, especially one that's never existed before, which you're putting together, is to teach them to listen to one another, not just play their part.
God knows how this will sound on microphones. But do it anyway. You know what I mean. Do it. As soft as possible with the ball. But forte with the left hand. Long sixteenths. Suddenly, very, very late in the day, after two That's enormous good. rehearsals on an hour overtime, the sun was leaving set. Everybody was exhausted and hungry. That's the moment it cut. I suddenly knew there was an orchestra. I think I'm the luckiest person I ever heard of, certainly ever met. I've had it all. <laughs> <laughs>